Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the extreme exothermic reaction you can get when you put water on chalk. So in order to do this, you need chalk. Now the weird thing about trying to find actual chalk is that it actually is pretty hard to find. Most of the chalk that's used today to write on chalkboards or write on sidewalks like sidewalk chalk is actually made from gypsum, and that's calcium sulfate. But real chalk is actually made out of calcium carbonate. And for some reason, the only chalk that I could find online was edible chalk. So apparently it's a thing that some people do is to eat chalk, which I don't recommend doing. So if you take real chalk, which is CaCO3, and heat it up, a thermal decomposition will occur. And what that means is that a CO2 molecule will come off of it. And so the CaCO3 molecule will break down into two molecules, CO2 and calcium oxide, which is a solid. So if you take a torch and heat the chalk, you'll notice that the chalk will actually lose some of its mass. That's because the carbon dioxide came off of it. And because it's losing mass, you'll see small little cracks start to form in the chalk. So after around five to 10 minutes of heating, you'll be left with a solid chunk of calcium oxide. Now after it's heated, this calcium oxide, or quicklime as it's called, can react with water extremely exothermically to produce heat and calcium hydroxide. So now this calcium oxide that I'm holding isn't hot at all. It's completely cooled down, I can hold it in my hand, but watch what happens when I put water on it. Oh. Whoa. Now the resultant solid of this is calcium hydroxide. And what's cool about this is if you heat it up again and get rid of those water molecules from it, it can reabsorb and react with those water molecules again and release heat again. So it's a way that you can actually make a portable cooking device is to have calcium oxide that's dry and then put some water on it and it'll heat up. It can get as hot as 300 degrees Celsius just by putting water on it. Another cool thing about this is when you're heating the chalk and it becomes the calcium oxide, the calcium oxide, when heated to at least 2400 degrees C, emits an extremely bright white glow. And that's actually called the limelight. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the exposure down so you can actually see this bright light. But watch how bright this gets. And that's actually where the term in the limelight comes from. When someone's at the center of attention, you say they're in the limelight because the quick lime was heated and used to produce very bright lights in theatrical settings. And so people used to say you were in the limelight when you were on stage. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.